Hi. It's uh, Mother's Day, May 12, Sunday. Hi, Mom. Happy Mother's Day. I was able to talk to her via FaceTime in my for my brother Roy's phone. And, and I, I think I told you the story because it's almost it reached uh, 12 midnight. Um, at least I was able to make to greet her on that day with my sister and my brother Roy. Then my cousin Teresa was there too. So we had those guy I shared I showed the any mini mini mo the kitties here and my cousin Teresa who's who studied a lot veterinary uh, she advised me to do a antibiotics for my knee. So when I woke up at eight o'clock, had my shower, um, I went took the uh, van and then because the white van and went to the warehouse uh, i told nemo because he was there with andy doing some arrangement for the uh, center pieces but it's the cocktail one and i told him that um, my cousin told about the antibiotics but you cannot just get it in on counter for that so i have to get a prescription for the veterinary so i have to either show miney about that or inform the doctor about the situation for miney's eyes so we'll see then after that um sebastian was already there and the two of us we went we drove the uh, chrysler caravan and i drove all the way down to grove isle where the um uh, yesterday's party was um with uh, sebastian and uh, caroline uh bennett Accra. we went there to Good thing they were there. We greeted them, them Happy Mother's Day, and they left for an event. So Sebastian and I took back all the plates from Panache and the glasswares and the silverwares plus our flowers. We gave them the flowers when you just took the milk glasses, of course. And then um, simple as that. Um, I saw the, it was a very nice. We took some pictures of the uh, uh, of Miami. Uh, it was a nice, awesome view with the water there. And then um, we we had the last already last set to go down but who's who, um, George who's in charge of all the cleaning the uh, maintenance guy there was using the maintenance elevator and he stopped on every uh, what do you call this floor so we asked him it just for one to put us down and he could just continue what he's doing so he did because we were waiting and waiting for it so we put everything up and it was uh, Sebastian started to drive. We went up and then we went to Miami Subs because it was our late lunch and commercial. And I sent a text to, uh, no, I got a text message from from Davey and asking, you know, how's everything for the day. I said that we were about to have a lunch at Miami Subs and he lives somewhere in commercial, but he was in Wilton Manor at that time. Right? Miami Subs right now with Sebastian and he likes Miami Subs. I didn't know he told me that. I, Pitbull owns this. Miami subs, all of Miami subs actually. Because you have one in Lake Worth, but they, they close down. So, yeah. I said, How come there's like people, some people, and then they're showing Miami subs there? And he told me that um, he's really owning all the Miami subs. <laughs> what a nice business. All right, we're having our lunch. Yes. Wait, a nice lunch. All right. So, and then after that, we drove up again to the warehouse and returned all the stuff except for the rentals because we have to return it to Panache tomorrow so we left it in the in the caravan and Sebastian went already on his own somewhere while I went drove home Steve already was home then because they all were down since like before one o'clock for this arrangement but Robert was uh, left behind in the warehouse to do some paperwork after that um, I I had prints I printed out some pictures especially the three of us I forgot to ask uh, Dan, we call ourselves the funny one. It's something like men's room something. But I have to ask uh, Dan about the, uh, about this thing. It will be a souvenir for them. And then um, after printing, I went home and called Dan that we're planning to, if I'm planning to invite um, a new friend, Rimar, who's Filipino, works at uh, as internship for four seasons to have dinner with us. So he's planning to have spaghetti and everything. However, at that time, because we said, let's call um, Hungry House for pizza. So when he called, it was the, suddenly like thunderstorm is coming on our way. And I told Raymar, I called him up saying that we can, I, as soon as the rain stops or the thunderstorm stops, I can pick him up. So he supposedly it was 6 o'clock. It came like past like 6.30ish. That's the time the rain stopped. And I picked him up and met Veronica, his housemate, who had an accident there at work. And I told him you have to call the manager and the agency to inform what's happening. So he has free 
check up and medication for that one because it happened during work and he was still in uniform. So that's according to labor law here. So I have to be aware of that. I oriented them about it. Then after that, I you know I drove the van with um, Rimar and we went to Hungry House to meet with uh, Dan. So we had pizza there. And then he didn't order for the buffalo wings. I thought he did, so we ordered for chicken wings. And sort of waiting, after waiting, we didn't go. I mean, we went ahead because it's almost 8 o'clock, and I said I have to watch The Simpsons. So he lent me his key. I mean, Remo lent me his key, and I drove the van going to his trailer, and we watched uh, The Simpsons in Animation Domination. And Remo just came afterwards, and uh, we had chicken wings as well. Um, I watched The Simpsons, it's very funny because Justin Bieber was there <laughs> as a guest and Bart loves to play the piano, not because he loves playing the piano, because he had a crush on the pianist, on the teacher, as a teenager. And um, that was the story there. Then we have Bob's Burger about baseball, that um, Gene became confident in baseball playing. Then Family Guy, um, they became like farmers, they sold the house and went to like farm to protect themselves, but became meth lab uh, distributor. So it became worse, but he went back to Quahog. And then the last is the final season of uh, for this season for American Dad about uh, Klaus, who, is the, who, who was really a, a, a skier, and he died there, and his body was changed. Was, I think his soul or something was transformed to the goldfish. And then it went to, he would like to have his own body, but it got rusty and everything. It deteriorated. deteriorated. So... He took the body of uh, Stan and they exchanged for a while and <coughs> came back. <coughs> anyway, so that was this. And I'm pretty sure the next season, um, the husband of Haley will come back from this, from the spaceship. I'm pretty sure there'll be one of the stories. It'll be exciting. And about, we talk about Roger, the alien one. Anyway, so after that, um, we, had a little, we had a little chat. And then, um, what do you call this? I brought... Uh, remote to my place first so he can see it and have to give the picture that we have together with Dan uh, when we first met at Four Seasons and uh, I, he helped me out with my Facebook app on the phone only you can do Facebook here with a big uh, smiling face like this he can get that because that's on uh, on his phone but I cannot do it on on my Mackie because if I do this it's just this regular um, smiling face so uh, there's an event already what happened to us for we watched the uh, sorry a story what happened to you know when we went to Adrino's place um, flashback a little uh, this is what happened to us when we were there at uh, the trailer what is this show? I don't know, know just this is we were watching Family Guy uh, we watched the Simpsons and then uh, uh, Bob's Burger and then later we're gonna go for the finale of uh, American Dad and this is Remar, met him at Four Seasons. Of course, we were in the dance uh, Zaki the trailer. And she showed you we picked him up because he's, he's, he's done with his work in Four Seasons. And he told us that he met her and he served um, Patrick Stewart, the actor from Star Trek. And I was like, what? He's in Lake Worth? So <laughs> that was the flashback before he came here to my place. After that, um, I play piano for him. I seldom use my piano, but um, if there's a guest, I entertain them for a little while. And then I brought him home to his uh, apartment down on uh, Dixie Highway. And uh, I, I'm hoping that Veronica will be okay. Because the last thing I would hear is that he was sent, she was sent back to the Philippines because of her injury. And it's not her fault, you know. So we might see each other again at Remo, with uh, Rimar on the 21st and 22nd because that's his day, day off days off rather and Remo will be leaving on the 14th it's gonna be sad but uh, we'll be together tomorrow so what's happened to me today happy Mother's Day to everybody to all the mothers brother and becoming mothers who are pregnant and uh, thanks you for thanks for following my journey this is Louis saying have a great night bye